guys today I'm gonna show you how to set up Jack Crowder for Windows in order to record audio that is coming out of Ableton Live specifically but in general from any software that is outputting audio through your ASIO sound card uh, I've been wanting to for a long time to do so and in order to sh to make uh, tutorial videos for music production and other videos uh, but I never really found the time to do so and now once I figure that out I want to share it with you guys so if anyone out there is, wants to do it and doesn't know how this is how okay so let's start first thing we're gonna download Jack Router from Jack Audio website and install it so I'm going to the download section uh, I actually got it installed already, already but I'm gonna do it for you guys so here I'm selecting the download for me it's Windows 64 bit that depends on your you can check your bit version by clicking my computer right click properties and here you can see system type 64 bits right so that is downloaded I'm just clicking next here I agree and <clears throat> I'm uh, installing it in the default location and I'm gonna uncheck launch jack now for now wait for the installation to finish there it is okay now I'm gonna search uh, jack and what I'm gonna do is you see these four icons this is the four uh, shortcuts jack installation makes for us I'm just gonna select one click open file location and what we want to do is open this folder keep it here open another folder and actually not open another folder that's enough okay so first of all I got this information right here of the frequent frequently asked questions section on jackaudio.com org uh, how to use jack for windows okay so in order to set it up for Ableton live first of all what we need to do is register the jack audio DLL what's that gonna do is make us a jack audio selectable as a sound interface uh, for Ableton Live, for the other DAWs such as Cubase, whatever, you don't need to do it, only for Ableton Live. So, this is how we, we're doing it. Um, just let, let me just search it quick. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna open Jack Command by uh, right clicking Run as Administrator. Now for any of you that are familiar with command prompt, you can also just use command prompt. It's basically the same. Now here you can see I'm at C Windows System 32. This is the default location. I'm gonna browse to Jack Audio installation, Jack Router installation location, which is uh, Program Files x86 um, and check okay yes so to register actually you can just copy this line right here I'm gonna put it in the description underneath step one so I'm just gonna copy it this is for 64 bits version and I think it says here that you only need to do it for the 64 bits version but anyways if you don't see it in Ableton we'll get to that later this is what you have to do so I'm going to paste this in the command line 
and you see I've got an error and that's because it's not the correct folder so I'm gonna go here you see C program files 86 jack and I'm gonna click there CD 64 bit you see it by clicking tab you can complete the word and see if the folder exists so enter and here again dear you see jack router dll over here so i'm just gonna right now i'm in the folder so i don't have to write this old path down i'm just gonna type reg svr32 jack complete by tab jack router dll enter now you see dll register server in jack router dll succeeded okay so that's done now second thing we need to do we're gonna back up a folder to jack installation dear and we need to set up something we're gonna use that's called jack port audio this thing is the actual server that's going to port the audio between your applications port the audio now for making the I'm gonna just gonna show it later but basically for recording audio that's coming out of any software like Ableton Live in this example specifically I'm gonna have to port the audio that it's coming out to another software so I could record it and keep that audio output for later use so what we need to do is right click this jackport audio shortcut properties and just let's leave it right here for a second now we need to type in the command line let's see it yes this command right here jack d dash d port audio dash l now i'm gonna copy and paste this and what this does is prints out all the ASIO sound cards we can use to to port audio in our system or work with okay so i'm this is my main sound card focusrite forte and what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna click mark select the text that's here after the uh, equal mark and right click which copies it okay now I'm going back to the shortcut settings which we left open here and what we need to do is like you see here I'm marking it. We need to configure the target as your card property. So here we've got part of the line and we need to complete it by adding dash D open uh, quotes and paste in that sound card. Please notice to not leave a uh, space between the name and the quotation marks because this is going to cause an error and that's it so apply okay that is finished now we want to make sure when we open port audio we are using this shortcut that we edited so what i'm do i'm gonna do is just pin this to this taskbar you can also right click uh send it to desktop it's gonna create a s the same shortcut in your desktop right here so now I'm gonna open the server and if everything works correctly this is what you're supposed to see if not you're gonna see some error or something you can shoot me a comment or something I'm gonna try to help you troubleshoot it and okay now let's get, let's get to the let's open Ableton Live which is the software that I want to record the audio from to route the audio from 
because I'm planning to sh do some music production videos and I want the people that I'm gonna that's gonna listen to my uh, videos to be able to hear the direct sound that I'm hearing while I'm explaining or showing a certain technique or whatever so that's Ableton and the software that I'm gonna use to record the audio too is going to be Adobe Audition Audition excuse me so here it is I'm opening it also uh, okay now uh, I'm gonna go to preference Ableton preferences option preferences and instead of selecting my normal sound directly sound card sound interface directly I'm gonna select jack router which is added after we registered the DLL in step one and you can see it works correctly it adds the it, the sound interface no problem here in Adobe Audition I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna check that the sound I'm going to preferences audio hardware and I'm gonna make sure that jack router is selected and that is good now we need to do the actual routing okay so just quickly name it something Ableton audition Ableton jack routing to audition okay okay so now I'm going to open up what's called jack oops jack control which is just an interface for controlling this server that's not this server oh I didn't open the server so we need to open the jack server oh yeah you here server starting in real time and this is an interface for controlling this server right here so I'm gonna click start and play and now I'm going to do the actual routing so you see this connect button right here I'm clicking it and nothing happens because it's open here okay so I'm going to disconnect all the connections and basically now I'm not gonna hear I'm just gonna open a quick project right here just a little bit or something so we can hear and I'm gonna let it play you see the loop is playing let's just lower it for a little bit I don't hear anything right now and you shouldn't shouldn't neither and first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna route Ableton outputs into the playback so connect now I'm hearing it I'm just gonna stop it for a second you shouldn't hear it by this point now now I'm hearing the outputs of Ableton through the system playback which is right now my headphones and I want to also route that outputs by the way output 1 left outputs to right and corresponding in any other input outputs I'm gonna route these outputs also to the Adobe Edition inputs now why we need to do it because Camtasia or other screencasting software cannot record the audio that is coming out of your uh, DAWs or other audio dedicated software so we are routing the audio that I'm play that I'm playing in Ableton in this example to another software so I could bounce this audio down to a WAV file this whole session once I press record here in Adobe in Adobe Audition 
and then I can attach this sound sample back into the screencast and by doing that I can add the actual audio that was played during the recording or producing session or whatever that it is you're doing with this software whatever okay so now we got the outputs routed to inside to addition and to the system and that's about it actually and right now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna minimize this minimize that and I'm gonna choose mixer uh, input one on this track and mono input two on that track I'm gonna arm the tracks by clicking somewhere here red RR rearm and I'm gonna play to see that signal is coming in is like you can see here the signal is already coming in so now after i've done that let's say i'm making this from now i'm gonna attach the sound see from the moment i'm gonna start recording here on this software i'm gonna attach the sound the sound that's coming out of ableton to this video okay later on i mean what i'm what i'm doing is recording it right now then when I finish this video recording, I'm taking the sample that I've recorded in Audition and adding it through Camtasia uh, screencast editor back to the video, okay? So I'm gonna open this, go to the editor and press record. So from now, it's starting to record you see there's nothing coming out yet but right now I'm just gonna click play here and you can see the audio is routed to addition so I can just do whatever Stop this, stop this, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to export the audio from Audition and right here, blah 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 blah. Export to track next time, entire session. Call it same name. Let's put it on desktop for now. Save export. Now this audio is going to be added back through the Camtasia editor or whatever screen flow editor you're using and you're going to hear the result now. If you guys have any questions, if you uh, got stuck on something, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll make sure to check out the comments if there are any and help you guys out. Have a beautiful week. Peace.